Hello friends, in this video we will make dimethyl aniline. A 100 ml 3 neck round bottom flask was fixed onto a stand over a hot plate stirrer and 14 ml of aniline was added to it. A stove bar was then introduced and with the stirring on add 12 ml of trimethyl phosphate using a glass dropper. The dropper was used to add the trimethyl phosphate in small batches rather than adding it all at once. The two side necks of the three neck round bottom flask was stoppered and a reflex condenser was placed on the middle neck. The mixture was set to a gentle reflex on an oil bath for one hour. Trialkyl phosphates like trimethyl phosphate here can function as an alkylating agent and they result in N alkylation of aryl amines. In this case, dimethylation of aniline. While the reaction is going on, we make a 25% sodium hydroxide solution by dissolving 6.25 grams of sodium hydroxide in 25 milliliters of distilled water. After one hour of reflex, the temperature is brought down to 50 degrees Celsius and then 25 milliliters of this 25% sodium hydroxide solution is added to the flask. Continue the reflex for another 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the reflex was stopped and the flask was left undisturbed for a few seconds and immediately the oily amine layer separated out. The contents of the flask was then poured into a large 400 ml beaker while it is still hot. And then we allow the contents of the beaker to cool down to room temperature. After about 6 hours, the aqueous phase is completely solidified due to the crystallization of sodium phosphate and the oily amine remains as the liquid. Now, the most of the amine was merely decanted into a 100 ml Erlenmeyer flask, but still we see a lot of amine that is trapped in between the solid. Then we added water to completely dissolve the solid and then the oily amine layer will be staying as a separate layer on top which is then collected by means of separating funnel. We had to poke in with the glass steering rod in order to break up the clumps of the sodium phosphate so that it will get dissolved in water easily. Here we have everything dissolved and we have a clear solution and you can see a very faint orange color on top and that is the amine and now we are separating the amine from the aqueous phase. Again the aqueous phase was washed three times with 10 milliliter portions of diethyl ether and that was also added to the Erlenmeyer flask. Then a simple distillation was carried out in order to remove the ether. The ether gets distilled off very easily and you can recycle the solvent this way. Next we add about an equal volume of acetic anhydride to the solution of amine and allow the mixture to stand overnight. Here we added approximately 15 milliliters. The acetic anhydride would remove any monoalkyl aniline if present. The solution was mixed well and was kept overnight. The next day we add a hydrochloric acid solution containing 10 milliliters of 35% HCl and 15 milliliters of distilled water. Mix it well until the base dissolves. Now we extract the solution with two 15 milliliters portion of diethyl ether. The ether layer will be the top layer which we have to retain. Here you can see the second ether washing and the ether layer is much clearer than the previous ether wash. To the ethereal solution, 50 ml of 25% sodium hydroxide was added and this will liberate the compound as the base. Then again, separate the amine layer 
and then the aqueous layer was washed with two times with 15 milliliter portions of diethyl ether. Here we are separating the oily amine from the aqueous phase using a separating funnel. Here we have washed the aqueous phase with ether and the ethereal layer which is the top layer was extracted out and was added along with the amine layer. A simple distillation was then carried out in order to remove the ether. Here you see ether distilling out very quickly and soon the temperature raises to around 192 degrees Celsius when the dimethyl aniline starts to distill over and everything between 192 to 193 degrees Celsius was collected. And this crude dimethyl aniline was then added to calcium chloride and it was dried. We collected about 7.8 milliliters of the dimethyl aniline. And that's all in this video. These are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for the new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are in the description. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications if you are new to my channel.